Hi guys, this is just a wee quick tutorial to show you how to go from this to this wee mermaid eye. Okay, so we've got the Magic Palette by Juvia's Place. I'm going to use my Morphe E23 brush and I'm going to use this shade Kessie here and just pop this all over as a kind of base shade. I've not done my brows yet. Okay guys, so right, I have my crazy brows done very boldly and I have popped this shade Kessie all over the lid as a kind of base to prep. Okay, so first of all what I'm going to do is grab a fluffy brush. I'm going to use my Tarte brush that I have. We double ended Tarte brush. I'm going to use the fluffy end of this. I'm actually going to just very lightly dip into this shade Nana. I'm going to start in at my crease. When I say in at my crease, I have hooded eyes, so I'm actually going to be, in order to see it on me so you don't lose it in the hooded part that comes down here, I'm actually going slightly above that. And this is a bit of a kind of transition type shade. I'm using this as very, very lightly. You can build this up, and if you do use a lot of this, it will be quite dark. I just want to go light. And I brought that right to the inside as well. I'm actually bringing it down to almost onto the start of my nose. And what I'll do is I'll be following my nose contour when I get to the face stage from there. Okay. Now I'm going to actually go for a kind of pencil brush here. Um, I'm literally just going right in at the actual crease itself with the shades of Zakia. And back with the original brush I used, my Tarte one. So you're not quite taking this as high, but you're wanting to blend it in to the other shade, the first shade. Just going over. Now you're not seeing a huge amount at the moment, we are just kind of laying down the base and getting the basics sorted. Then work on the mobile lid and get some fancy shades on the go. Alrighty, I am going to grab some of my concealer that I, the first one I've grabbed is my collection Lasting Perfection. I'm just going to use my Carity E25 flat brush. I'm going to grab my Nan sh shader brush. I'm going to. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. A good guide I find when I'm trying to do this for doing a cut crease, I tend to apply along the kind of lash line area. This works for your hoodie dyes, look upwards. And you'll see when I've got the hoodie dyes, that's where my eyelid touches. So I'm just going to kind of follow that go slightly above it as a guide and this is the area I'm going to create as my mobile lid space. I'm going to go for some of the shades Eif. Going for that on the outer sides. This one here. I'm ever so slightly overlapping onto the purple. Geochromatic shade, this Faso, 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 Faso. And apply that right onto the very centre. So what I'm going to do now is go back to one of my original brushes, my Tarte brush. I'm going to dunk back in very gently to 
to this shade Nana. I'm just going over the very edges of the purple. I don't want to make it appear all muddy, I just want to kind of smooth that out ever so slightly. It's not made a huge difference but you will see when I am done. This is the shade Nana. Okay, so extremely quickly I'm going to use some of my Maison Multifunction Formula All-in-One Snail Repair Cream. Oops, that's far too much, but that's okay. If you've got dehydrated skin like me, or kind of lines or wrinkles, it's really amazing. Okay. I am um, The Ordinary Colours, and I have shades 1.2 Yellow Gold YG. We empty lid here, and I have my or The Ordinary. Rose hip seed oil, four drops. I get very dehydrated skin. This gives a gorgeous finish, this foundation. So what I've done here is I have mixed the rose hip seed oil and the foundation. I'm just mixing that with my brush. I'm using my Carity F28. I'm gonna go for a bit of the tart woo! Bit of the tart shape tape. I have the shade fair. I actually have the shade light. I have the shade light and light is too dark for me. And the reason I'm using the sponge here rather than my concealer brush just because it is such a thick concealer. Just sheet out any parts. There's too much. Now I look like some sort of crazy clown. I'll keep the nick of my nose. I'm the shade Nana here. Use this shade If. Faso, Faso. I'm just going with that on a wee crease brush. I'm actually going to just dab that on in the inner corner. And that's what I've got at very centre on the lids here. So I'm just doing that and keeping with the kind of Time to apply some eyelashes. So I'm using the Prima Lash number 75 because my beautiful little niece Emily, um, she likes thick lashes and these are good thick lashes. She has helped me out. 